Alright, so um Persona 5 visual novel. Um, I'll be honest, I know nothing. Zero nada about Persona 5. I just know it's popular. But um I have not personally looked into it myself. But um it's a visual novel, so I'm gonna give it a shot and see what it's about. Your first name, default FN. I really don't care about first name, we'll go with FN. Can't really care for names, we'll pretend it's something else. I find it's gonna get on with the story. Uh oh. Why, well, hello there. LNF. <laughs> I could have changed the name, but oh well. I've been waiting for you, you know? Okay. Not very talking to one, hmm? Or perhaps you're just confused. It's honestly amazing how you managed to stumble into this space. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy nonetheless. You don't come here often. I'm sure you have a lot of questions and you're itching to progress. Yes? Let's get to it then. Firstly, yes. Go on, to the car. What card do you see in your hand? The moon? Intuitiveness, deception, and security. And yet so mysteriously enchanting. I personally think it's a good card. Are you sure this is your card you want? Sure. Very well then, let's move on. Next, select the route you wish to proceed with. Don't be shy now. Tell me who you desire. I guess Akira? I don't know who these people are. Like I said, I don't know anything about Persona 5. I'm just playing a visual novel. Um, the Fool. Perhaps the predictability is what's attractive about him. Don't you think? Now, are you sure this is the path you wish to go on? Why not? I don't know if I should. Took a second route, so yeah. Good, good. Now you're ready to go. Hope you manage to reach your goal you're aiming for. I wish you full enjoyment and good luck, dear. Okay. Our style is kind of different. If there's any fact you could think of, you can wholly believe in this world. Besides politics, worlds are messed up. It's that homeworks are evil. And the math teacher who had given your whole class a crap load of homework right before the weekend had just spawned the devil himself with himself. Covid is what you need right now, and your attempt to splurge on good coffee to keep you awake. So you search for a good rabbit pack alley cafe in the area. Um, okay. Should be around here. The alleys could be confusing, but thankfully, Google Maps exists. You stare at the sign for a few seconds and peek into the shop. Coffee and curry, LeBlanc. Quaint, secluded, smells like heaven. Good enough for me. Welcome to LeBlanc. Mm. Verbally greet and take a seat at the booth. That was awkward. Why'd you have to try and greet him? A simple nod would suffice. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like a nod suffices in some situations, and sometimes I don't know. You shuffle to one of the thankfully empty boots and immediately feels self conscious. Oh, shoot. There are empty seats that I can sit one person, but I don't know who they chose to sit at the booth. Granted, it gives you more privacy, but it's not exactly the most considerate option for other customers. Not like there are any other customers, though. So it shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah. But the guy manning the counter thinks I'm a jerk. Screw him. But it's embarrassing to change seats now that I'm already seated. You're so busy thinking to yourself inside your head that you don't realize the person who's running the shop has been waiting on you. Is something wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. 
I'm just thinking. Smooth. Yeah, and very smooth. Okay. You probably look up to see a boy around your age with a tuft of black hair. It looks soft to touch and dark colored eyes behind huge glasses. Okay. A part time? Either way, he sure is good looking. Okay. So, can I get you anything? Recommendations? Maybe we can get something new. For the first time here. I can tell. Yeah, yeah. So, do you have any recommendations, maybe? Well, do you like coffee? Yeah. You should probably try the coffee. Thanks for the help. Although the owner isn't around, and I'm still learning, so there's a small chance you might not like what I brew. Okay, so you're a part-timer. Um... You can do it? Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> Contrary to your expectation, the boy smiles. I'll try my best. So one cup of black coffee? Is that all? You lost it in your ability to speak, so you nod in response. The fraternal replies with the same gesture, and when he makes his way back to the behind the counter, you just know he's laughing at you. Someone end me, please. You bury your face into the palms of your hands and sigh. I guess. I don't, I don't know. I try not to overthink like this, and yeah. Let's just do that stupid homework. Thanks for waiting. Here's your coffee. Okay. And here's your curry. Hmm. You know, I had some like shrimp curry today. It was like really good. Wait, what? I didn't know where to curry, right? No, you did. I did? No, you didn't. Sorry, your reactions are kind of using to watch. I can't tell if he's being serious or if he's making fun of me. Just want the house. You look like you need it. Do I look that ragged? Let's just thank him. You're welcome. You push your arm with the side and start eating. Pretty good. Curry tastes as good as it smells. The spices work so harmoniously. Their taste buds rejoices at the treat you're giving them. Contrary, yeah, contrary to what he warned you about, coffee is perfect. It's warm and aromatic. It's all you could ever hope for. It's been quite a while since you've been able to enjoy your vitcos in complete peace. And the quiet and cozy ambience indulges you to relax. At this moment, things don't quite seem as bad as you thought. Hello? I'm glad it was to your taste. The curry. Curry is really good. If you're done, can I take the plate? Yeah. There's an empty plate from your table and you pull your homework back in front of you. The alphabets and numbers are just text on the paper, but it's like they're mocking you for not being able to solve them somehow. Maybe if I stare hard enough, it will magically resolve itself. Ah, uh, if that worked, then I would have passed the. Uh, through college and high school with straight A's. Mm. Which school do you go to? Some question catches you off guard, but you answer anyway. Ayoma hey, High? It's too bad. Why? I go to Shumshi. So our homeworks are different. So I don't think I can help you with that homework. Ah, uh, this is offering. That's nice. 
I mean, then, darn. <laughs> Was that wrong? Who left you one of those textbooks that can bust in the flames? You're correct. Subject? Mathematics. I hate math. Math is like... It's just... It's so evil. I look at understanding cross the expression. You suddenly realize that you've heard Shujin somewhere before. I'm probably butchering her name, but... Uh, will be the first time. You'll do the academy? First plus second, the boy tenses, but he naturally brushes it off in mere milliseconds. Yeah. Isn't that where the whole Phantom Thieves thing started? Yep, I see you heard of them. We're well, all over the news. You can feel him observe you at the short pause in conversation. What do you think about them? I guess they're okay. I, I, I'm I gonna be as neutral as possible because like I said, I don't know anything about Persona. So, yeah. Just okay. There's not much to know about them personally. Me and nowadays, they tend to exaggerate a lot. Suppose you're right. See? Neutral. Are you a fan of theirs? You could say that. You might not look into it. But he's a rebel, huh? Strange, but as time passes, you're getting more and more comfortable talking to him. Maybe it's the cozy atmosphere at the cafe, or maybe it's how pitched he is with you even though you're stuttering and pausing to try and form coherent sentences. Somehow he also picks up on your inability to pick topics to talk about, and so I take the role, which to you is a godsend. Yeah, he doesn't push for any personal themes. He stays on the casual subjects that both doesn't tell you much about him, and doesn't tell him much about you. It's pleasant because you know there's a line drawn there somewhere between you two. And both of you talk more and more, you start to feel like you wouldn't mind if he steps one foot over the line. This is the first time you ever felt this way. How bizarre. And then your eyes wander and find the clock. Wait, is that late already? <laughs> the boy notices your gaze and follows it before giving you a sign of apology. With a look and follow her verbally. Verbally. <laughs> verbally. Verb. Wow, what is wrong with my English? Verbally. Verbal. Verbal. So I guess uh, I distracted you too much from your homework. Homework? What? Well, oh yeah, the math homework. I mean, it was an enjoyable talk. I can only blame myself for getting into it and for getting my student responsibilities. You shake your head in denial as you shove your textbooks and stationaries into your bag. Now, don't worry about it. It's nice talking to you, though. Thanks for keeping me company. I'm glad that was just a nice experience for you as it was for me. It's quite late, though. Will you be okay on your way home? Willie really survived this guy didn't have a heart rate of girls pinning for him already. Yeah, I'll be fine. Coffee's cold, but you don't want to go down the drain, so you finish it with one go before you stand up, your bag ready on your shoulder. After a quick payment, you panically think of a not awkward way to say goodbye, but it's usually don't have to. If you want to, you can drop by tomorrow to finish your homework. I'll appreciate having a study friend. Don't think about it. So anyway, it's not like the shop's not going anywhere. Sure. You do have good coffee. He smiles and you can't help but cheer inwardly at the accomplishment. Exactly. We'll see you around. Alright. I guess we should head home. Nice guy, yeah. I wonder if he was being serious with the study buddy offered. We didn't even ask for each other's names. Mm. It wouldn't hurt just to come at the shop for a coffee, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Uh oh, okay. You completed one of the scenarios. Thanks so much for picking up the small project of mine and trying it out. 
hope you enjoyed the experience, short though it was. And hey, if you haven't already, you should consider trying out different answers. There are some dialogue that will show up only on certain conditions. I also hope you checked out both routes. They are really fun to write. But of course, it's all up to you. The game itself is currently just a demo. I'm trying to see how many people are interested. I'm still planning to do, uh, to continue the story, as long as I'm motivated to do so. If you're a writer and you want to help out with writing for different characters, I suggest you check out this page. If you're an artist and you want to help out with the expression of the official sprites, work on the background of the CGs, check out this page. With that said, thank you for playing the game. Hope you see your feedback, comments. Here's hoping the project will grow as planned. Hope to see you around. Alright. Persona 5 Visual Novel. Um, this is just a demo. I actually like, enjoyed it. The settings, the art style and everything. Still don't know about Persona 5 in terms of the game. I really haven't done my research on the game at all. I don't really know, you know, what to think of it. And I don't want to hop on the bandwagon and act like I'm genuinely interested in the game. But I mean, it was it was something that was a nice experience. So um, I will link it below if y'all want to try the different routes, get the different expressions and all that stuff. Um, and of course, I'll link anything as much as possible. So like, I, you know, the um, author said, if you are a writer or artist and want to contribute to this project, I will try to link that as well. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed the story, and I will see y'all in the next one.